just because a child lost their their uh, life, you, you can't hold you can't hold a, um, you can't hold everybody underneath the sun. A uh, you know they can't hold everybody. And say, it's their fault. It's their fault. It's their fault. Sorry, you. Some of the house you have to take accountability for your own actions. And some people say you're just blaming the victim. When I say this about Kylie, I'm not blaming Kylie. But Kylie went to the party. Kylie could have left the party anytime. She stayed there. Whatever happened, happened, and it was a tragic accident. Well, and, but, and that's not. Let me be clear. So just to so to clarify to help you out, because I know what people are going to say that that's not that's not blame. That's reason. That's just pure flat out like brain, uh, like simple brain fucking reason. No, that is blame. You can't take it any other way. Megan is saying, firstly, that you shouldn't blame everyone who was involved. You can't hold everybody underneath the sun. Sorry, Megan, but you're wrong here. When a child goes to a party and never comes home again, then every person who provided alcohol and drugs for consumption by those teenagers at the party should be held accountable. If plans were made prior to that party that resulted in Kylie's death, then it's not just about the people who made those plans, but every person who had knowledge of them should be held accountable. Likewise, it's not just the people who participated in whatever occurred, but those individuals who were witnesses but did nothing. They should be held accountable. And as far as covering up the events of that night, every parent who went in and cleaned up after the party, if they had knowledge of what occurred, they should also be held accountable. Every attendee who deleted or hid photos or videos from the party rather than giving them to law enforcement should be held accountable. Every person who chose not to come forward or prevented people from coming forward when law enforcement was asking for help should be held accountable. And if Megan has knowledge of what happened to Kylie and lies about it, and does not share her knowledge with the relevant authorities, then she too should be held accountable. Sure, Kylie chose to go to the party, but that doesn't make it her fault that she died. There were no significant levels of drugs or alcohol in her system. There was no water in her lungs. She did not drive herself into that reservoir. And as for saying... Kylie could have left the party any time. Wasn't it you, Megan, who claimed that the other teens took her keys? How do you know that she could have left the party any time? We were told by law enforcement that she told friends at midnight that she wanted to go home. Yet we also know that she was seen around 12.30. If she could leave the party any time, why was she still at the party half an hour after saying she wanted to go home? Are you truly saying that because someone chooses to go to a party that it's their fault if they come to harm at that party? If your daughter had been the one who went to the party and was found two weeks later in the reservoir, would you just brush it off and say, well, it's her fault for going to the party. Kids go to parties all the time and make it home safe. Kylie would have never expected her decision to be a fatal one. So why suggest that she's somehow to blame for simply choosing to go to a party? Tell me this, Megan. If the next time you decide to drive home whilst intoxicated, you cause a fatality. Will that be your defence in court? Well, Your Honour, sure, I had too much to drink, but they chose to be on the road also. They wouldn't have died if they'd stayed home. How do you think that will go for you? As for your friend claiming that what you're saying is not blame but simple reason, dude, Seriously, listen again. 
in one breath, she's trying to say that other people shouldn't be held accountable. And in the next breath, she's saying that it was Kylie's own decision to go to the party and that she could have chosen to go home anytime. That right there is victim blaming. This only requires a basic level of comprehension. Megan has stated quite clearly that she believes that others shouldn't be held accountable because Kylie chose to go to the party. Is the if she wouldn't have went, she, that wouldn't have happened. And that's just circumstances the way they unfolded. That's not nobody's fault. That's not God's fault. You didn't do that. Kylie didn't do that. That's just circumstance. It happens to everybody. It's the way this shit works out. Like, they don't seem to understand that, though, dude. But they're fucking retarded. Like, they're dumb. I don't know. Well, like, I, I'm starting to really think that some of them have, like, fucking, like, uh, like obsessive, like, tendon, like, fucking psychotic obsessive tendencies and shit. So we're retarded and dumb. Okay, then. Let's talk about the intelligence behind confusing circumstances and culpability. Yes, the circumstances were that Kylie went to a party where something occurred that cost her life. As for culpability, Megan's saying that others shouldn't be held accountable because Kylie chose to go to the party. That's not her discussing circumstances, but allocating blame directly back on Kylie. Okay, we also apparently have psychotic obsessive tendencies. Well, okay then, if that floats your boat, sorry, but that's such a ridiculous thing to say that I'm not going to waste any more breath on it. Well, I mean, the other thing, and, and people, you know, forget this too, and most people would agree. When it's your time to go, it's your time to go. God has a plan for you, for whatever your purpose is. And unfortunately, Kylie's time was time to go. Is that anybody else's fault? But the way life happens, you're going to blame God. You know, like, that's a, that's a saying that everybody says. When it's your time to go, it's your time to go. You know, when it was my brother's time to go, it was my brother's time to go. I don't get to change my my feelings on that because I don't, I don't like it. I don't get to do that. Like it is what it is. Okay. It was my brother's time to go. It was kind of time me, to go. As far as I know, your God isn't responsible for the evil that occurs in the world. Kylie died as a result of the actions of another person or persons. Is that anybody else's fault? that Kylie died. Of course it bloody well was. Kylie had an amazing legacy to bring to this world and someone stole that from her. It wasn't her time to go. She was 16. To even try to brush off what happened in such a way is downright callous and heartless. And I seriously doubt that Megan would be saying the same thing if someone had done this to her daughter instead of to Kylie.